Okay, Rich in California, got your President Washington here. Sorry, it's upside down, but that's the number there. Um, so I did the Mars mod, as you can see, and everything. So um, I did align it, and uh, turned out good. So one thing to remember with these, I know the box says 80. Realistically, with clean power and everything, it's about 70, 70 plus. Um, this has one less MOSFET than the new radio coming out, the AT6666 Pro. So that one will do more. I know the boxes both say 80. I'm not sure, the Anytone box doesn't really mention the power, but the manual says 80. So those are a little more power. I mean, we're talking 20 watts. Oh, geez, sorry. Kind of wish I could get her to come in here and do that because it kind of needs it in here. <laughs> but uh, anyways, um, we're looking good and these things sound good and everything so far has been good. Um, so we're just going to show you the sideband power. Now the limitation is off so it's just full. Uh, we're going into our 50 ohm dummy load here and uh, mic gains all the way up. We're just using the standard mic. Uh, you got yours is still new in the pack. I got your digi mic here that you ordered with it, so I appreciate that. That'll come with it. And uh, sorry about the background noise. Here we go. So here's your sideband power right here. Just like I said, it's like 70 plus, you know, which is fine. I, I do turn it down quite a bit because um, it's rather dirty out of the factory, and I don't really like that. So you know, it's it's better to stay clean and maybe just sacrifice a few watts of power, you know. It's just all around better. So there's that. Uh, FM. On FM I have you set to low is around 1, I believe. And if you use the AO and the A4 setting, um, the AO setting is going to be 10. And that's with, you know, when you're key up like this, with your RF power all the way up, the AO setting will be 10. Um, this one is at like 49.50 so you know all the way up is 50 I wouldn't run it that high for all, until you get some fans on it which the fans will be coming later from President um, I know there's some guys that have been getting some from Amazon or something I've heard some stuff about that like some 40 millimeter fans and they they wire them in themselves I just would be careful anyone doing that you don't want to wire them up wrong and damage the radio but if, if you're confident then yeah if you can't wait for the fans from president then go that route and get yourself some fans no question about it um i'd feel way more comfortable if a guy was using this on fm running you know 10 meter fm or something um 50 watts full all the time with the fans running i think it would be fine um and if, but again if you know if you don't need the 50 then run run what you need but in the a4 setting um if you if you go to the power limitation a4 this will be about four right there so the same thing on am um on am it's at 20 with it all the way up right now so it's at 20 it's picking up my voice but it's at 20 and it swings about 73 or so so that's you know kind of a high dead key but i left it the way it was just because you know um i didn't really change that I did bump the mod depth up the percentage a little bit and um, going all the way down here you'll have one so if you put it here it's going to be about one so we'll show that I don't think I've shown that before so let's see it's actually about 1.3 1, 1 or something there's the frequency it's really good so when we speak, you know, this is what the radio does all the way down. So it's not going to be like this huge powerhouse thing, like one watt swinging 70. You, you, you never want that with radio. I mean, this is nine times the carrier right here. If that's not enough, then, uh, you know, I don't know what to tell you. But uh, this is like seven to almost eight, nine times at, at the... Uh, from the carrier to the peak power ratio. So, I mean, it, it's good, definitely good, but this is not gonna be one of those those radios like some of the other ones on the market where it's like all just distorted and, you know, swinging all these crazy numbers from a low number. It's just, it's not the way radios should work. Um, unfortunately, there's a certain 
type of operator that I, I don't know if it's a lack of understanding or more or less they just don't care and I think more or less they just don't care and, and it's a shame but that's what we're dealing with sometimes so um, if you go to the A4 setting at RF power level 10 it'll be at about 4 watts and then the AO will be about 10 and then if you lower them down in either of those settings it still will go down to about 1 so I covered that um, I think that's about it really I recommend reading the book I think and I'm not 100% sure but I think you got one of the George FCC's for me so anyone that has one of those or if you have like a George 2, a lot of the functionality is identical. So if you can operate those, you'll jump right on these and just away you go. Um, a few different settings here. You know, obviously we have Echo and stuff now where we didn't have that on the George FCC. So, you know, that's something to keep in mind. There's a span setting. If you don't like this, especially uh, if you're, you know, taking this up into the amateur radio bands, um, I recommend using the span setting over the um, channel mode. It's just worth, it's pointless up there. So the span is on. And then I believe when the span is on, if you tap, um, I can't remember. I, I was looking at something online the other day and a guy was saying that if you, I think if you, there's a way to do it where it'll go to the zero. I haven't use these radios enough I mean the the time I get to use radio is so small anymore that like literally when the new ones come out and stuff I kind of forget things so I have to keep a book next to me when I use these radios because I just literally don't have time to use radio that much so you know to say that I'm like an expert at being able to describe okay this is how you do this I mean yeah I can get around rather easily but certain little small things like that um, I've forgotten is it that no I don't know, there's a way to tap a couple buttons and this will automatically go to a zero. But with the span on, you just, um, you can see how I'm moving it around. So with the span on, you can go anywhere you want really fast. And this is how I would use the radio because I don't care about channels. If I wanna go here, I'm there. If I wanna go here and talk on 12 meter, then I'm here, you know, it, it's it's simple. You know, you can just maneuver around wherever you want to go. We can see the Mars is enabled, so everything is here. And uh, just real easy to get around. Here we go, we're up on technician portion, upper side band. You know, wherever you want to go, that's where you go. And you don't have to worry about it, like forgetting or any of that stuff, because it won't do that. You know, you can still go back to your channelized band if that's what you want to do. And it'll be right in here. So, you know, I was wondering in this radio if there was a way, because I know on the President uh, Richard there was a way to access the, uh, and I believe they call it the Muppets or something over in the UK, the 40 channel FM band. I don't think it's in this one though, but I'm not 100% sure. So if anybody knows, that'd be cool to find out. But, uh, you know, you could obviously punch it up and do it yourself right from the span setting, I think. I think, I don't know if it, well, because you need the, the 925 on the end. So I'm not sure if that would work too well on this radio or not. I think it would have to be something that was added in firmware maybe. But um, maybe they're getting a little slightly different version in, the, in Europe. And maybe that is programmed into theirs. And maybe because this is... A, America and we get these here. Maybe they're different. I'm not 100% sure. I'm just speculating there. But the radio is working good. So we're going to get ready to send off to you and I hope you enjoy it. 73.